Alright guys, let me introduce you to this brand new account I made that's not so brand new. I was thinking of starting the content off from like a level 3 and going from there, but I kind of forgot to take progress videos. So, here we are, level 38, and here are the stats. We got 44 attack, 45 strength, 1 defense, 57 range, 28 magic, 34 hit points. So, if you could guess, this account is going to be a baby peer which is going to be super fun. Uh, long time ago, I started making a peer, and then I started making a main with it, and then I basically just stopped making videos. So, we're back, and does it ever feel good, boys? This video is going to be full of surprises. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. And that being said, I gotta get on this woodcutting grind so we can do a couple quests and we can get after it. Without further ado, let's get right into the progress. Smashed out Vampire Slayer while we were doing our wood cutting. We also finished that, so that is going to put us at 41 attack level, 45 attack. Doesn't really do anything, but we got Ernest the Chicken to do as well, so we might as well bang that out, and we'll be on our merry way to doing Lost City. And Ernest the Chicken completed. Nothing really from it, just a prerequisite for the Ava's accumulator, so that'll be nice to have out of the way, and especially that we're here. Let's go do Lost City. Actually forgot that I needed like 30 something crafting, so we're gonna quickly get that crafting level. Coming up right here on about 34 crafting. We didn't really need to go all the way to 34, but I figured we might as well. Then we can craft rubies in case we want to start training again. Let me craft this last one. And we are ready to do Lost City. I think I'm only gonna stay at 50 attack though, so I'm gonna go do that. And we're not really gonna use the DDS yet, but at least at 50 we can do the GMO. And uh, I think there was like a. something else but anyway let's go do that so since I was kind of on that little questing grind I decided I might as well go ahead and bang out the knight sword super huge for early levels it got me all the way up to 29 smithing which is absolutely fantastic gives me access to iron ore which I can actually super heat which is a kind of a decent way to train magic it's not the best but kind of didn't really think feel like teleporting so I figured something else got me up to 59 55 magic sorry uh, now we can get our elks in, so if we want to do like agility or when we're cannoning or something like that, then we're able to actually train our magic. And I was also teleporting and alking at the same time, which is a super quick way that I found, since I don't really have any other way to train it, with keeping my hit points relatively low. Also got me up to 36 smithing, which is kind of huge. Then I was ready to do Lost City. So, got after it, and here is Lost City completed doesn't really do a whole lot but at least we get the quest points and we can actually access Zenaris if we ever want to do Slayer then we have access to that when we get our combat levels up then I went ahead and figured I needed some prayer right, so, so Priest and Pearl it is. Some combat stats actually I got 50 attack 53 strength and then I was about ready to go do um, Horror of the Deep from the Deep but then I realized that I kind of need prayer so quickly gonna do finish this quest off here that's priest in peril he's gonna give us i believe some prayer xp also access to cannabis so let's see here done and 15 prayer we can go to cannabis now and we also need to get 43 for overheads against the uh dagonoff mother so let's go do that really quick Got a tiny bit, a little bit sidetracked when I was doing these quests. I stopped by that mountain camp actually, and I uh, figured I might as well jump in this cave and kill a candle because that's going to give me the bear head, and that thing is absolutely pimp on a low level account. So I went and smashed the candle out. Got myself 20 prayer. Now I'm ready to grab some stats and get that uh, unholy book. Getting sidetracked never hurt nobody, right? We went and finished off Animal Magnetism, gave me access to the Ava's Accumulator, which is going to allow me to keep my arrows in check while I'm training range, which means I have a big plan to go 60 to 70 range at the Rev Cave and see how we do. But that's for the next video. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.